it was billed as the Battle of the Titans. But as more than one commentator suggested, the debate between Australia's would-be Prime Ministers ended up more grating than great. Both candidates appeared nervous and over-scripted. Kevin Rudd, the Prime Minister, even seemed to break the rules by referring to notes. Tony Abbott, too, stuck largely to the script. To many, he came across as wooden and risk-averse. Until a few weeks ago, it seemed almost certain that Abbott would become Australia's next leader after the September 7th election. Leader of the centre-right coalition, Abbott is a social and fiscal conservative with an acerbic style and a no-nonsense message. He'll return Australian finances to the black. He'll scrap an unpopular carbon tax. He'll be easier on business and harder on illegal immigrants. For months, the coalition had been expected to win a landslide. Until, that is, the return of this man. Kevin Rudd was elected Prime Minister in 2007. Never popular among party ranks, he was ousted in a political putsch in 2010 in favour of Julia Gillard. Only six weeks ago did the Labour Party, trailing badly in the polls, reinstate Rudd as its head. The move smacks of cynicism, but it has done the trick. Polls suggest Labour is now back in the race although it still trails the coalition in most surveys by about four points. The economy will be the central issue. Australia has been growing for 20 years on the back of a mining boom, but Rudd has suggested that the commodity super cycle is finished. We believe that the right way forward is to build the new industries of the future after the China resources boom is over. Gay marriage has also featured in the campaign. In this week's debate, Rudd promised to put the issue to a vote within 100 days of the next parliament. Abbott, who once trained for the priesthood, was less committed. Um, if this issue were to come up again in the future, uh, it would be a matter for a future party room. Okay. Abbott may be more conservative than the average Australian, but after six years of a topsy-turvy Labour government, many voters appear ready for a change. Labour's late rally notwithstanding, most pundits say the election is Abbott's to lose. David Pilling, Financial Times, Hong Kong.